Here are some of my thoughts after using the Apple Watch Series 8 every single day for three months. And just so you know that this is actually my very first time using an Apple Watch ever. The watch I have here is the Midnight 45mm. And the watch band I got is this Little Link Band. I actually really like this one because it's very easy to take it off and put it back on. The Little Link Band has been aging really well. It still looks very nice and everything works perfectly fine. There are signs of wear and tear, but doesn't really affect the function much. And instead, it kind of adds a bit of a character to it, in my opinion. The other band I got is this third-party stretchy, kind of like braided band that I use for exercise. But after using it for about a month or so, the band got stretched way too big to the point where it's having a hard time to gather data because the Apple Watch is just not touching my wrist. So I rarely use the braided a bit anymore unless I know I'll be running or doing like a hit workout and I don't use any other accessories for the watch such as like a case or a screen protector because I actually do like the design so why cover it up so far I haven't scratched the watch but I have heard people saying that it's really easy to scratch and break the screen but I've been pretty lucky and careful so far so everything is still in one piece there are a couple things that I really like about the Apple watch I find myself checking messages a lot more now on my watch instead of on my phone and this actually saves me a lot of time because if I reach for my phone and start checking messages I usually get distracted with other notifications or if I see like a social media app I'll click into it and just keep on swiping and swiping mindlessly. And the next thing you know I have wasted like 10 or 20 minutes on social media apps. And whenever I check the messages on the Apple Watch if I need to respond something real quickly there are always like recommended response or I can type something quickly. Usually I'll do this if the response I need is really brief but if it's something long I'll rather use my phone to type because I feel like the texting mechanism on the watch is still a little iffy and it's really easy to like make typos due to the small surface of the watch. I also really like the amount of watch face it has and how customizable it is. And I can also set this up with my phone. So for example, if I'm in like do not disturb mode, my watch mode will be different as well. And I can customize different apps I need for do not disturb on my Apple watch. And each watch face seems to have their own individual function too. So definitely go in and play around with them until you find the one that suits for your situation. It did take me a couple of days to set it up and like try different ones until I find the one that's really useful for my use case. And this is probably because it's my very first time using an Apple watch. I'm sure the whole process will be a lot faster for you if you are coming from like the previous Apple watches. The workout tab is also something I use very often. You can also customize it according to the workout that you're doing. Like over here, I have set up my own HIIT workout with the amount of exercise and the rest interval that works for me. One downside with this is that I noticed that for every workout that you're starting, it always has this countdown from like 3 to 1. And I actually find that quite annoying because I don't need a countdown for every single workout that I'm doing. For example, if I start running, I just want to start like right away. I don't want to wait like three seconds and then start. Hopefully it'll be a function where I can turn this off in the future. I would say one of my favorite functions and also a function that I use very often is actually Apple Pay because I don't have to pull my phone out. All I have to do is just to use my watch. It is so much faster and also kind of scary sometimes. Another function that I use all the time on my Apple Watch is for it to track my sleep. At first I thought it might feel a bit heavy to wear the watch to sleep like every single night, but it's actually not that heavy in my opinion and I was able to just like fall asleep normally with the watch on. Not sure if I can say the same for the Ultra. The tracking sleep cycle with the watch does strain battery, so make sure you have enough juice before you go to sleep. And normally the watch will actually let you know if you have enough battery for it to last the whole night in order to track the sleep cycle. And yes, the battery on the Apple Watch Series 8, it's, it's not the best, but I usually charge it whenever I go take a shower. Even though it doesn't charge all the way up to 100%, I usually still have enough juice throughout the day. So after three months of using the Apple Watch Series 8 for every single day, I'm not exactly impressed. I would not say that my life has changed drastically. Even though all of the function kind of adds up little by little, and all of them seems very beneficial, I don't think I can 
really justifies and say that it's a necessity. But if you're someone who really wants to have a watch that can like semi replace your phone, then the Apple Watch Series 8 can definitely do that. And this is also why I have one of the watch face set up to the point where this is exactly what I check on the phone. So instead of using the phone to check everything I need to know, I put it on the watch face. This way I don't have to look at the phone all the time and get distracted. All I have to do is just to look at the watch and I have all the information that I need at a glance. So I would say if you're coming from the previous generation of the Apple Watch, say the Series 7, then the only two functions that you really have to look into is the car crash detection as well as temperature sensing. If you don't absolutely need these two functions, then I say just skip the Series 8. But if you never had an Apple Watch like me, then I say the Series 8 is a great one to start with. 